My name is Trolls, and in this video, we're gonna take a deep look at ADO's Emotional Guitars Pads volume. Uh, Emotional Guitars actually come in three different libraries, and in this video, we're only gonna be focusing on the pads. There's two other libraries focusing on multi samples and rhythms as well. This is an incredibly deep collection. And it's been a dream of mine for a long time to have like a super extensive library of different guitars sorted in different emotions. Um, if you look at the wheel behind me here, that's Robert Plachik, a very famous psychologist, emotional wheel that contains 32 different types of emotions with eight core emotions, sadness, happiness, that sort of stuff. The idea is really to offer you an enormous amount of content in all these different emotional categories. So when you use the library, you find what emotion you want, and then you load up all the sounds in that particular emotion. And in the video today, I just wanna take you through the pads volume. These are very paddy, dreamy kind of samples, and there are thousands of them, all sorted into different emotions. So it's very quick to find something in a given emotion. It will help you speed up the compositional process. And I'm just gonna take you through the user interface, all the different emotions. Um, I can't possibly show you all the samples in the library because there's too many, and there's three volumes if you wanna get into that. But, but I can certainly give you a taste of the different emotions and what you can do with them with this advanced user interface as well. We're lending from our hybrid library, so you get a lot of the functionality. You can stretch notes, you can stack different emotions, you can reverse, you can offset, anything you wanna do, gate, super advanced like four part modulation, anything you wanna do is in there. But most importantly, the content is just awesome and it's oozing up all these different emotions. So yeah, let's get into the doll. All right, we are inside the doll. If you look here, you can notice that it says pads A to F, meaning all the different emotions covering the spectrum from A to F. We also have another master patch here covering all the emotions from G to Z. And besides from having broad emotions, you can also really get detailed in the library. Every single key down here represents a different pad. So in the case here of acceptance, you have over four octaves of accepting emotions. And as I'm gonna show you here in the user interface, there's a lot you can do with them. You can stretch them, you can stack them, you can offset, you can glide, you can use the sequencer here and sequencer effects. We have additional modulation sources here in an X and Y axis. And we have more modulation here if you really need it. And we also have our chaos effects and all that stuff, but let's just get into it. Let me show you all the different emotions here um, at a quick emotional super rush through the doll. There's so much to show and um, just uh, open your heart and your mind and let the emotions soothe your ear canals. So you can see pretty much every key I hit has that accepted emotion into it. It doesn't really matter what. And let's say that we find something like this one here. I think that's beautiful. I'm gonna click the stretch button here and all of a sudden it's fully playable. I'm gonna go a lot deeper into that in the library, but it's just to show you that even when I just go through one emotion here, we have emotions in every key here, but there's so much beauty all of them have a unique style in mind and they're also in the same key, which makes it a lot easier to tune it and let it match your compositions and all that. Um, but let me try to move here to admiration. And to me, they're a little more strong, potent, maybe like stoic proudness to them. Um, one thing I immediately think of, there's a little bit of a distortion in these ones here, is to put the gate on them using our modulation here. And all of a sudden you can create these cool rhythms that are tempo synced. <laughs> So 
So you can see it's super easy to create new kind of rhythmic compositions with the tool. Everything is the same key, so you can really just blend any kind of emotion you want together. <laughs> All right, let me switch the gate off here and go back to the next emotion, aggressiveness. All right, let's go to amazement. And to me, it's exactly instruments like this one that has that sort of musical sense where it might make sense to stretch it. And anger. And for me, it normally sounds like this that are very staple, can be really, really cool to put through the gator as well, just to get that. And a more magical category in the form of anticipation. Isn't it pretty? Let's go to apprehension. I mean, to me, that's a fucking soundtrack right there. Right? You got the drone, you got the like solo underneath. That's the library, it's that easy to use. Oozing of emotions, every key is doing something super cool, doesn't matter what you do. <laughs> like alien reactor. Another alien reactor maybe. But this one as a drone and a background drone, fat, like stereo wide, just gorgeous. Let's go to... Oh. I feel like we're just hitting like dark emotions like all the time. Like next one is disgust. Let's try something a little more evasive with distractions. and ecstasy. Fuck, isn't that an amazing note? 
I happen to love drones when they're not static, but they have life to them, like this one to me and with a couple of other notes. Let's try something random. And fear. We have a lot of those kind of bending notes, uh, which can be hard just to do with a mod wheel, but really getting the player to be emotionally invested. Let me uh, switch to the second page here of emotions. So we went from A to F and now from D to Z. Um, I might skip emotion a two here because there's so much to go through, but um, I'll try the most diverse um, of all of them here. Like again, for me, this is one of those like, okay, this score is almost done here. For underscores is amazing. Just like one thing, we might add a couple more other elements. And you can just hold down the keys and let it run. A lot of these things are really long and looped as well. So there's an infinite amount of ways to move between the content here and create new stuff. This one is so pretty here. Let me just stretch that. All right, let's stay happy uh, just for a second longer here with Joy. And go straight into something as negative as loathing. Let's make a quick switch into love and optimism. I'll take those two together. Let's check out the rage. And you can also use the stack function in the library that allows you to stack different articulations together. So essentially stack different emotions. Let's try um, love and sadness together. I think they sometimes go hand in hand. So to say in a wild way, you can actually mix emotions. For me, this one here, it does give me a little bit of that sort of beautiful love sensation, but also a little bit of the sadness. No matter what, I sort of combine. You know, that girl that never liked me. Let me try um, Serenity here. <laughs> 